Soleil, and today I'll be talking about the Alchemy eyelash extensions along with applying a do-it-yourself face mask. Alrighty, so for those who happen to follow me, this is totally different than I normally do, so hopefully you will enjoy the the change. So, all right. Also, just really quick, I do apologize for my voice. I have all the ceilings. My voice is bouncing off the walls right now. And then also, it's a beautiful day outside and everybody wants to move their lawn. So just in case you happen to hear that in the background, apologies. All right. So the very first thing I want to talk about are my eyelash extensions and how I feel about them. My first video, I talked about the procedure and I had just gotten them done. This is two weeks later, which I will get close to the camera. Hopefully you can see I do apologize, I need to do my eyebrows. Um, yeah, looking at myself in the mirror right now, like I don't think I wanna go for round two. I don't really feel like I want to commit to eyelash extensions. Um, you know, some people, they do it every two weeks, they do it every three weeks. It's something that they make part of their, their routine, their beauty routine for life. I just didn't like the outcome originally. It wasn't as long as I had hoped them to be. So given the fact that two weeks later, they're pretty much back to my normal eyelashes. I just, mm, not for me. Um, just to go over the price and whatnot for people, I paid $150 for the first time and then it is $50 every two weeks and $75 every three weeks. So for those inquiring about what the price might be, that's that's what I paid. Um, I will continue using my Lily Lashes. I definitely love the brand Lily Brett Lashes, which I will leave a link down below just because I just, I just think that her lashes are just absolutely amazing and, um, and they definitely give me the result that I want. Alrighty, so onward to the mask. I'm really excited about this because I haven't made a face mask in a while. So um, my next portion of this video will be me showing you the ingredients and just going over uh, what I put into my face mask. And then afterwards, I'll come back and I will apply it on camera. Alright, I, I will show you the ingredients now. Alrighty, I am in my kitchen right now. These are my ingredients. Just in case you hear anything in the background, my dogs are out and about, so you might see my one dog violin roaming in the background. Alrighty, so also I want to bring up the fact that these specific ingredients I'm using today, but other times, I mean, normally I'll always use the vinegar, the baking soda, the yogurt, the honey, and the coconut milk, but other times I might add a banana, I might add, you know, whatever fruit I have on hand, but today this is what I'll be using for my face mask. Alrighty, so the very first three ingredients I got off of Amazon, which are the pure, pure vitamin C powder, the organic coconut milk, and the raw honey. I will try to find everything online for you and leave links down below. Besides the vitamin C powder, I am going to assume you could probably find the rest of these at your local grocery store, Walmart, or your Target. Alright, so the next thing I have here is the organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar. I like the unfiltered vinegar because I've heard so many positive things about it, but if you happen not to have it on hand and just regular apple cider vinegar, I'm sure that'll work just as well. Next thing here is the garbanzo and fava flour. I normally use just garbanzo bean flour, but they didn't have that, so I am using this. Pretty much what it is, is it is a thickener. It helps the mask become thick and apply easily, and it also has a drying effect. Next thing is the baking soda, which is great for pulling out toxins on the skin. When mixed with apple cider vinegar, it adds a nice little bubbling effect when I'm, I'm creating my concoction. All right, here I have Greek yogurt. I prefer the Greek yogurt over regular yogurt just because it has way more protein than regular yogurt. Um, normally I like to use full fat because the way I see it, the fat adds moisture, but I do not have that on hand right now, so I am using the zero fat, so either one will do. And then the final ingredient, which is a whole reason why I even started making masks. Sorry. Please, please, please. There it goes. Ah. Simply organic turmeric. Turmeric has so many positive, beneficial things for your body. I mean, if you just do your research, you'll see that it's just, it's just overall a great uh, staple to have in your house. Um, for this, though, it's supposed to be a skin brightener. Um, but as I said, you can use it in food. People use it in their teas. It's just... It's just a great ingredient to have. Um, all right, so after the ingredients, you'll need a bowl. I did not grab my spoons, but you'll need spoons for your to dip into your yogurt and whatnot. Can opener if you're going to use canned coconut milk. And then I like to use this brush because I just wasn't using it. Beforehand, I was applying the concoction with my fingers or a, cu or a uh, cotton swab, but I now like to use the brush. Um, I will try to find a brush on Amazon that's cheap and 
specifically made for applying masks, but as I said, you can pretty much apply the mask with whatever you choose to use. All right, so onward to applying the mask. Okay, so I have my concoction. I have made quite a bit. This is so much. Um, I would give you guys exact measurements, but I totally eyeball it and I just kind of, you know, it's really up to you on the consistency you want. If I get to a point where I am doing exact measurements, then I'll go ahead and do a step-by-step -step video in the future. But for now, I just wanted to show you the ingredients and then what it looks like um, after it's done. Uh, also, if you're kind of like wondering what am I going to do with the rest of this stuff, like for instance, like the coconut milk, because you only really need like no more than like a tablespoon of it. So I like to put it in my tea. So there's definitely a lot of things you can do with the coconut milk. Probably in the future, I'll probably do a do-it-yourself video on, you know, the leftover ingredients and what you can do with those ingredients. So, all right, I am going to apply this to my face. Here I go. Just gonna, it's a little thinner than what I normally like it, but it's all good. Just gonna, whoop, put that there. Another thing I was thinking about that I'll probably do in the future is I'm probably going to do a video on putting apple cider vinegar in my hair. I every once in a while I used to do it like every single week, but uh, every once in a while I will make my apple cider vinegar concoction and I'll spray my hair down and um, and I'll leave it there for about an hour. Um, though I want to give you like exact reasons why I do it. So once I like do my research again and I'll have a better explanation of why I actually. Put the vinegar in my hair. It's supposed to make it shiny. It's just really healthy. It's supposed to be like a conditioner, as far as like the the brief, the brief reason why I I put the vinegar in my hair. Um, there's just so many different things you can do with vinegar and all these these ingredients that I use today. So okay, so I'm not gonna bore you with me putting this mask on because I'm gonna put a few more layers on. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like for me to put this mask on. So I will put the mask on, continue putting it on, and then once I'm done, I'll take it off and I will show you the end result. All right, so this is what my face looks like afterwards. I have a nice little healthy skin glow going on. You know, we're all striving for the super young appearance, something that's gonna make us look like 10 years younger, and I have yet to come across that, so uh, if I do, I will let you guys know. But in the meantime, I do like putting on masks and different things on my, on my skin just because it does give me, you know, softer, and hopefully smoother and more youthful looking skin. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Before I go, I just have two things I wanna say. Um, one, I am over 100 subscribers and I've been thinking, I think I'm gonna go ahead and at 250 subscribers, I am going to do a giveaway. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and you know, leave comments freely. Um, once I get to 250 subscribers though, I will be doing a giveaway. And then the final thing is, for those who've been following me, I am revamping my channel. If it's not the next video, it'll be the following video where you'll see the, the new changes. So, all right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.